Over a year ago, Warner Brothers came under heavy fire when they made the shocking announcement that the Batgirl movie had been canceled. It was done. Despite so many people working on it for so many months, so much production, so much money invested into it, it was being canceled. And they were going to take the tax write-down benefits. Well, obviously, as everything played out, we saw the movies they decided to release instead of scrap. Seems like that may have been a mistake, regardless of whether Batgirl would have been good or not. In all likelihood, it would have lost less money for them than The Flash did. But now, once again, over a year later, Warner Brothers and David Zaslav are in hot water for doing the same exact thing. But this time, it's to a John Cena Wiley Coyote movie, which, I'm going to be real... I didn't know this was in the works. Apparently, it had been completed filming for over a year now. But here we go. Warner Brothers shelves John Cena's Coyote vs. Acme. A little over a year after the shelving of Batgirl sent shockwaves through Hollywood, Warner Brothers is putting another of its films in the studio vault. The studio no longer plans to release Coyote vs. Acme. The animated feature was greenlit as an HBO Max film before being considered for a theatrical release. And listen, we spent a lot of time talking about Disney and the struggles they've had. Warner Brothers has been struggling for a long time. That's why you've seen so many different like mergers or whatever in the past five years for them. Their stock price is sitting at what, like $9 per share after yet another disappointing quarterly earnings call where, you know, revenue was down. But at the same time, they do have one of the only profitable streaming services out there. Max actually made over $100 million for them last quarter, which is more than virtually every other streamer can say. But now they're taking a movie that had a budget of around $70 million that was, you know, acted by John Cena. John Cena is the lead in this. James Gunn is a producer on this and they've decided to bury it. It's never going to see the light of day. You're seeing a lot of people on social media get really, really mad at David Zaslav over this. I, I, I'll i be honest, I don't know who who is like super excited for it. Maybe it does have that dedicated core fan base, the Looney Tune fan base out there that wanted to see it. It was supposedly a live action animation hybrid. Warner's no longer plans to release Coyote vs. Acme, a live action CG animation hybrid that completed principal photography last year in New Mexico. The move follows veteran animation executive Bill Damaschke taking over Warner Animation Group earlier this year. The feature, which sources believe cost around $72 million to make, had key Warner's talent involved in front of the camera behind the scenes. It stars John Cena, who's obviously in Peacemaker, and DC Studios co-head James Gunn produced the feature and worked on the story. So... I imagine right, if James Gunn is like not was not down with the decision or upset at the decision, I imagine that could cause some sort of friction when the head of Warner Brothers decides to scrap the head of DC's project that he's been working on. But nonetheless, it's done. They didn't think they'd be able to make any money on it. They think that taking, you know, a 50, 60 million dollar write down on this potentially, they think that's better for them than actually trying to release it in theaters or anything. I, I don't know. Warner Brothers can seems, seems to be the one consistently doing this with Batgirl, that Scooby-Doo movie they did the same thing with. And, you know, the director posted this on Twitter. He worked on this thing for three years, and now it's never going to see the light of day. You got to feel for people for, for sure when stuff like that happens. For three years, this is from Dave Green. For three years, I was lucky to make a movie about Wiley e. Coyote, the most persistent, passionate, resilient character of all time. I was surrounded by a brilliant team who poured their souls into the project for years. We're all determined to honor the legacies of these historic characters and actually get them right. Along the ride, we were embraced by test audiences who were rewarded us with fantastic scores. I'm beyond proud of the final product and beyond devastated by Warner Brothers' decision. But in the spirit of Wiley e. Coyote, resilience and persistence wins the day. I didn't think I was going to be talking about Wile E. Coyote today, certainly, but there it is. John Cena and James Gunn's Wile E. Coyote movie gets the axe by Warner Brothers over a year after it's done filming. It got the Batgirl treatment. Warner Brothers doing everything they can to stay alive and try to reduce some of that debt. Apparently, they think this is the right move. They're also the ones that shit can Batgirl and let The Flash lose hundreds of millions of dollars. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.